what's up y'all what's cracking what's popping it's d boss here this is by dr mystery is titled when adam ross humbles entitled celebrities okay let's see who he humbles in this bed let's watch from humbling a washed up rapper to straight up canceling someone's 20 million dollar kick deal for their foul behavior these are times Aiden Ross humbled entitled celebrities and influencers. Aiden has been one of the biggest names in streaming since 2020. He's well known for not being afraid to speak his mind, which has gotten him into several controversies such as multiple Twitch bans before finally making the jump to kick, receiving a multi-million contract extension in early 2024. Throughout his career, he's had the chance to collaborate with huge celebrities such as Chris Brown, 21 Savage, and even Donald oh, Trump. But not all of these interactions end up going the way you'd expect. And when Aiden ends up humbling entitled celebrities, like recently when he had to put one of the most hated streamers out there, Jack Doherty, in his place. Now you might be aware of one of Jack's latest stream disasters as he was oh, driving his $200,000 McLaren in the pouring rain. He crashed into the side barrier and completely totaled the car, resulting in his cameraman all cut up and him just being worried about it being recorded. Oh! Oh! No! No! Holy f Oh, Michael. No f Michael here. Michael. Oh, Give it to an apple too. Thank you, okay? Oh, Despite Kick being very allowing of most stuff, his channel got permanently banned after the incident, with him going to beg for donations on his TikTok live. James Ellis, thank you for the galaxy, bro. I just followed you back. Guys, let's see how fast we can hit my galaxy. I'm going to follow everyone back once we hit it. Appreciate y'all. Cole with the galaxy. Thank you, Cole. I appreciate it. Thank you, Aiden, for following live creator. How'd you crash your car? I hydroplane. I literally hydroplane. I'm in a McLaren okay. in the pouring rain. What do you expect? You guys have never drove a McLaren. But what does Aiden have to do with all of this? Well, it just so happens that his superstar status on Kick goes far beyond always getting amazing viewership. He also has enough equity in the company to decide who gets a contract and who can get unbanned. After the whole crash situation, Aiden spoke on the matter since people were asking him if he had actually been permabanned. Yeah, it's permanently banned. I, I checked with all the kick snap. It's, it's all 100% perma. It's 100% perma. They made the, yo, you know what? I with them, I'm not gonna say who, but as soon as that sh happened, they banned him indefinitely. And chat, why did they feel the need to like tell me about it? Like, they're like, yo, Aiden, just let you know, we, we indefinitely spent him. He then went on to react to Jack talking crap about him right before the crash happened. Gave him the conditions if he wanted to come back to stream on Kit and continue to cook him since he didn't even care about his cameraman and acted all high and mighty. Are you paying Aiden Ross for your birthday? Hell no. I got on the phone with Kane and he's like, yeah, it's gonna be half a ticket to an M. And I never laughed louder and harder in my life. He said, and then after that he said, I can get a little baby or whatever. Yo, Jack, just remember, buddy, now you're really gonna have to pay me $200,000 if you wanna get a bed on Metal kick. I'm just letting you know right now. You wanna get a bed on kick? You wanna funnel your OnlyFans girls? You wanna get your sh back? Now you're really gonna have to pay. 300K. You gotta give me 300K cash if you wanna get a bed on kick. If not, you're definitely suspended. Go to Twitch and get banned. Um, that's first of all. Second of all, you paid me on 30K to host this channel like twice, but I was really upset that his cameraman got injured and he put the fing camera in the cameraman's face and get the angles. You're such a. He also had to humble YBN Namir, letting him know he was already washed up. I can't watch this again. This is included on 50 million compilations. I gave my opinion and I said how Hey, Gucci's name has been trending all over the place lately due to okay. several scandals surrounding his adult content career, mainly because of allegations of him knowingly spreading a virus to several women he's made content with. So Aiden invited him to have a call on a stream along with DJ Academics to try and defend himself in an attempt to make things right. However, as the interview went on, Gucci began talking about his upcoming financial plans, with the main one being creating an NFT about a condo to promote sexual safety. Well, I've actually, it's, it's funny, I've actually already been working on the condo brand and as well too, I have launched hashtag or wrap it up NFT you know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, <laughs> which I will be um donating you know, you're trying to scam ten thousand in profits um to sexual awareness companies. But you could see that everything turned into a joke for Aiden as soon as he heard NFT. 
So we had to call him out for it. Ah, uh, don't do that, shit, bro. I laughed at the part where you said. Okay, I've been so no, no, no. I'm laughing at the part where you're. It's about an end. Can you guys let me finish? Funny? Holy, bro. It's not funny. Is, bro, it's not is, funny. It's not funny. funny. It's not funny. Not you're making. Funny. You're making an NFT. Funny. You're making an NFT on a condom, bro. How can I not laugh at that? You're making an NFT out of a condom. You're making an NFT out of a condom, bro. You're not taking it seriously. You're making an NFT. You're trying to profit off this whole thing. You're making an NFT out of a. See, you're laughing. You know it's a joke, bro. Exactly. Another of Aiden's responsibilities, <laughs> and Kick has been recruiting upcoming talent to stream in the platform, usually promoting their content and, if things go well, offering a contract for them to go Kick exclusive. One of his latest additions would have been a man by the name of Joseph Malinowski, also Ooh. known as Lieutenant Dan. Dan quickly grew in popularity after being featured multiple times on Tampa Terrence's TikTok page, showing his story of surviving multiple hurricanes in the Tampa Bay area, okay. with him even withstanding the might of Hurricane Milton after refusing to evacuate the area. We're here with the real life Lieutenant Dan. Big hurricane coming. What are you going to say to the hurricane? Do you want me? Come and get me. Yeah. <laughs> Devil, cop, anybody, bring it on. I'm ready for y'all. Let's go. He's not leaving, baby. Don't give I up the shit. Him. He survived. He's alive. Holy shit. Damn, made damn, it. made it. He made it, guys. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Uh, He's alive. Uh, Spirits are high. Hey, how you doing? Let's go. Give the people an update. How was it? Hey, I was in fear for my life all night. I didn't know what I was going to do. People immediately fell in love with the man and managed to donate over $44,000 through GoFundMe. Aiden was one of the many people who wanted to help Dan's situation and offered to give him enough money to buy a new boat, as well as a full kick partnership for him to stream his nautical adventure. Good news for you, man. The, uh, the owners of Kick and I, we spoke. Um... <laughs> I know you're not really aware of it, but it's okay. We're going to help you. I'm going to work with these guys. These guys seem to know you. I'm going to ask how you guys know each other in a few. Um, we uh, we were able to come up. I, I'm going to be able to pay for a boat for you. We're going to get you a nice boat um, in the range of fifty to $100,000. Um, and we're going to get you a full-time kick deal, which is a live streaming deal where you can stream your entire voyages and all your adventures. Um, and you can be, have a passive income come in. It seemed like everything was going perfect for Dan, yeah, but like just it. as quickly as it came to be, it came crashing down spectacularly. Due to him being in the spotlight, people were quick to come up with his extensive criminal past, as well as his daughter disclosing his addictive tendencies, saying that all that money would lead to him going down an endless hole. Lieutenant Dan was doing just fine without all that money. Y'all, y'all TikTok famous people and all that y'all blowing him up and he gonna be dead before he can even enjoy that boat and stuff because look at him after y'all got a hold of him and now he's highest on all these videos is it just weed is it just weed yes i'm his daughter i'm his daughter and i've had to keep tabs on that man for 10 years trying to make sure that he's alive and now he's gonna get all of this and probably end up dead because of it and his first stream ended just as you would expect with dan carelessly dropping the n-word like it was nothing now i got no problem with karen you know give me what you owe me pay me what you owe me and we'll have we'll be cordial all right but you, if you want to get back into my good graces you're gonna have to take time hey a lot of work and it's gonna be hard because once i cut you off you're done sorry mm -hmm. All of that was more than enough for Aiden to completely back away, still giving him the boat, but dropping the kick deal entirely, but was still trying to help out the hurricane victims with the money. No longer giving Lieutenant Dan a kick deal, uh, but I'm giving the deal to Terrence. Uh, Terrence is gonna go around Tampa IRL streaming and he's gonna help out homeless people and help out people that are in need. And we're gonna give him a budget every day to go IRL streaming, give out and bless people. Um, we still wanna help Lieutenant Dan, known as Joe, by giving him a boat. But we also want to make sure that he's staying sober and does it the right way. After the whole incident happened, Dan made an appearance in the No Jumper podcast to give his own side of the story. One of the things he talked about was his whole relationship with Aiden, and he had to say this. Lieutenant Dan, what's your relationship no, with Aiden you. Ross like at this current moment? I have no problem with Aiden. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with Aiden. Well, say, I My problem with both. Karen. But there was like, so we, 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 that happened with Terrence trying to steal my account, my, my TikTok account. 
He got the account. He changed it. He changed mine to my bio. He changed it from the GoFundMe page to a damn yeah, apparel nice. page that had my face all over a damn dirt. I didn't know nothing about it. And then I can't get into my account. So I like, mean, I go to modify, so I can't modify because my password don't work now. I, I so I had to go through the, the channel that that I went through like to, to get my back. But Aiden doesn't always go against unknown people. He's also been able to check one of the biggest streamers out there. Back in June 2024, Ninja and Kai Sinat began a back and forth, with Ninja being tired of people going into his stream to say how Kai surpassed his personal record. For most viewers on a single stream, uh, when Kevin Hart companies. went to the AMP house. As of October 20, 2023, Twitch streamer Ibai Llanos, or Llanos, also known as Ibai, Holds the record for most concurrent viewers on a Twitch stream with 3.44 million. He reached this record in September 2023 while live streaming his La Verada del Año 3 event, breaking his own record. So, almost there, guys. We both just have to get 3.5 million viewers. No record got broken last night, except for mine. He also gave Kai a bunch of backhanded compliments as he was doing big numbers during his Elden Ring streams, saying that he would have gotten the same amount of attention if he had never gone to Mixer. Kai's pulling 30k right now because he's sleeping, dog. Every time he wakes up and he actually starts playing Elden Ring, he's pulling anywhere from 90 to 100k. A little more, a little less. He just puts in the work, bro. He just listen. He does what I could have done if I just stayed home and streamed <laughs> and didn't go to Mixer or anything like that. Putting in crazy work, crazy hours, crazy resources into coming up with these really authentic, dope, unique streams, man. He's doing an Elden Ring playthrough like two years, a year and a half after the game came out. The whole background. And From there, he shifted his attention towards Aiden, saying how him doing the Trump stream was the downfall of humanity. Aiden Ross, who, like, might be one of the most unhinged streamers. Now, this is not talking smack. He's one of the most unhinged streamers. I think he'd even admit this. Out there, right? This dude's... This dude's... Boobies. He's crazy, <laughs> you know, in a good way and in a bad way. There's worse than Aiden. Dude interviews Trump on his stream. Aiden Ross is doing an interview with Trump on stream. We get, do hitting the doing like what what that little Trump dance move is, bro. Giving away Teslas or Cyber Trucks. Like we got Kamala Harris freaking doing and having people twerking at her shows or at her rallies. What the fuck is happening? In this, in this, in this country, in this world, I mean, what is actually <laughs> happening, dude? I mean, I feel like most people I, are asking that question. Like, this is a joke. This is all a joke. It's awful. This is why I don't involve myself <laughs> with with the, with the foolishness, with the circus. I don't want to play in the circus. Um, but yeah, he's not saying anything that a lot of people haven't already said. I feel like I'm in a simulation. Do where it has to be a simulation, bro. I don't feel like that's a personal dig at Aiden. Well, he did say he's one of the most unhinged streamers, which I don't necessarily agree with. But I think overall his message is that all of this just looks very goofy. You lost the plot. I don't know what's happening, dude. So Aiden had to fire back against Ninja, calling him a joke for being angry that newer streamers are doing things that he could never accomplish. Everybody on Twitter is just being so nice and congratulating me, except for him and Ninja. Ninja, you too, bro. I looked up to you, so did Kai. You said the same thing about Kai. You just throw me little slick remark things. Brother, you are a fucking hater and a joke. You, you're like 37 years old, blue hair. Like, I'm not, I'm not real shit what I'm about to say. I looked up to you, so did Kai. I got nothing ever bad to say about you, bro. And like, oh, god damn, mother why are y'all so angry that this new generation is just passing you guys up and doing shit you've never done before? He then went on to say that he still had lots of respect for what Ninja has done for streaming, but that he was just ignorant for blowing off the success of the new generation. I still f with Ninja now, and I'm very grateful for what Ninja did for streaming. Because people are, and Ninja, I, I still f with what you've done for streaming, bro, but you are a genuine hater. I don't understand. Based on the clips that I saw, it doesn't seem like he's hating. But I feel like in another video I reacted to where they showed a clip, I did say that he kind of came across like he was hating a little bit because they showed uh, more where he was talking about Kai and it did kind of give off hater energy. I feel like if I'm recalling that correctly, I don't exactly remember. But um, he might have a bit of jealous energy, but as far as the politics, I think he's just speaking... <laughs> in general terms whether it was you who interviewed trump or um who's another kai well that would have really been a mess 
or <laughs> Speed. Who else is a big streamer? I don't know. Any any streamer, I feel like he would have said the same thing, you know? So I don't feel like this was a personal dig, you know, at Aiden or at streaming in general. It's more so that, you know, streaming is like an entertainment space that a lot of kids usually watch. So mixing that with politics just seems a bit goofy. And then at the rally, you know, Meg twerking, it just seems inappropriate. It just doesn't seem very professional. And you think of politics to be this professional space where things should be taken seriously because people's lives are involved. So I think he was just saying that this is this just looks stupid. <laughs> I think that was the main point. And, and Aiden is going off on a tangent about, oh, you just hate, you just jealous. And I just feel like... <laughs> Your English comprehension just isn't the best. Unless I'm missing something. Maybe he said a whole bunch of other shit that's not being shown and he was giving off heavy hater energy. I don't know. But based on those clips, I'm like... KSI is also another big internet celebrity who got checked by Aiden, oh, this man. time for being clueless about how bad his music was. Oh, was After scary. a year on break, <laughs> KSI came back to his music career with the release of the song Thick of It, featuring Trippy Red. The song instantly got viral, but numbers. for all the wrong reasons, Sheesh. with every streamer Listen and YouTuber reacting to the song only to make fun of it. KSI responded to the feedback by saying that they were just like forcing themselves though. to hate his music and couldn't understand why people didn't like his song. The thing is, the, the song that isn't shit. bad. I don't know why. That shit came out a month ago. It's at 53 million views. Like, big artists don't even get that. Big artists don't even get So Aiden numbers. decided to have a chat with KSI so about it to try and get his side of the conflict. But after talking for a laugh, while, KSI just man. crashed against Aiden's chat. And that's when he had to tell him the truth about the song. All right, pretend I'm your only, pretend I'm your friend right now, okay? Like, I know we're not friends. This is a part of the pretend I am right now. Keep it cool. No, no, no I'm sorry. Fuck your, fuck your audience, bro. Then I cry, cry, yo, for your moms, bro. Whoa, 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 don't say the moms. Dude, listen, how are you mad at your song is bro? Like, why are you taking out my chat? No, G, JJ, I'm trying to be nice, but no. you, you can't talk to my no. kid like that. No, no, no. Aiden managed to de-escalate the situation, though, and kept talking with KSI, telling people to stop using the song as a meme, but that it was still an awful song. I want to talk to you and actually get in your head and help you. I'm not here to come at you, bro. I want to help you as a friend. I want to say this. Anybody that hates on this song, you're a hater, okay? He's going crazy. He's the number one song in the world right now. And everyone needs to lay off JJ. It's about you his life. You it up? Do I think it's good? No, but I'm at least I'm telling people to... He's a very smart man. Like, he, he's playing into it and acting like he's so offended. And why y'all keep making fun of it? Stop, stop. And th all that does is make trolls push, you know, further and keep making fun of it and keep reposting the meme so therefore they're continuing to promote it and put money in his pocket so you know that's what this is obviously but Golf. i i feel like not everyone <laughs> understands that because their audience mainly children and I'm not gonna say. It. We'll stick up for you, bro. Uh, no, no. People who Aiden are has also had to humble people who have tried to gain fame off him, with one of them being influencer Jake Lucky. The beef between Aiden and Jake goes back to 2022 when Jake would constantly tweet about the things that happened during Aiden's streams, usually with clips taken out of context to make him look bad. After a lot of back and forth between the two, Aiden agreed to have Jake on a stream along with train wrecks to talk about Aiden's recent drama. But it ended up being the perfect excuse for Aiden to press his biggest hater, with both Trainwrecks and him constantly mocking him, especially because of how much he had to censor himself. He then shot him down after he tried to say that Aiden was trying to push inappropriate content to minors. Jake, I really feel like you and I can conversate and get along. But the thing is, you're a thank you, Train. I think, sorry, I really think that this really got me fucked up, bro. I get it, it's your job, I understand, bro, but it's like, you can't even say the word do you ever feel like a responsibility? And that's a great question from Train too. Like, not that yeah, of course. The same or your own, but do you ever feel a responsibility when putting out there? Then like that can influence a lot of people, a lot of impression. <coughs> um, for sure, bro. I, I've learned uh, throughout my career of certain stuff that I've done, and uh, you know, certain things. But I think if you're, I think it's the parents' fault if uh, you know if they're not of age to be able to be influenced and stuff. I, I, I really do with the parents. I mean. At my stream, whenever I'm doing certain things that require a certain age, um, I'm always putting 18 plus stuff. I kind of already answered this question though. 
After that interview, Jay kept documenting everything Aiden has done, but with far less frequency and much less hate. But Aiden has also humbled some of his friends over what they've done, like what happened between him and Charleston White. Now, Aiden and Charleston had been friends ever since he appeared in friends. some of his streams, becoming a common face in Aiden's content. He even had been considering giving Charleston a kick deal. Very much. Um, what did I tell you? Is you a man or a woman? But everything came crashing down after Charleston went all in against Aiden, talking all kinds of trash about him during an IG Live, saying how Aiden was trying to put other people against him, and saying that the Jews had it coming for what happened during the Holocaust, oh, among many goodness. other anti-Semitic remarks. That was more than enough for Aiden to distance himself from Charleston and pulling away any support he had for him. Yeah, 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 I got mad at myself. This is like, I don't want to be mad at me. I'm mad at you. Because I don't want to be mad at me. Why be mad at you? Done this. The Jew community sent this mother to me because I was in support of Kanye West and everything they did to their ancestors. They sent this Jew to try to embarrass me. And I'll rock with him. That's crazy. I'm a hit of his mother. Go treat me like this. Fly me out here. He I love like he like how you. I mother. And again, it's just, it's just insane. Luckily for Charleston, he would end up making peace with Aiden even after any opportunity he had to make it in the streaming industry had already vanished entirely. And he also had to go off against Joe Budden for not understanding that young streamers are a force to be reckoned with. If you don't know who Joe- I did a whole video oh, about oh, this as well. The, I can't be bothered. Uh, they look at for showing on your feet, celebrity- they are indeed getting to it. But that's not the only time he's had to humble an old celebrity for not giving him the proper respect. You might know Dave Portnoy for showing on your feed just reviewing pizza on the streets, but he's also a rather successful businessman, founding Barstool Sports back in 2003, and currently has a net worth of over $100 million after he sold the whole company, only to purchase it again for only $1. Despite not being the current CEO, Dave is still the main force of Barstool, currently hosting the BFF podcast. During one of its episodes back in February 2021, they began to talk about Aiden, but Dave only said that he was just a TikTok personality and couldn't be very famous if he didn't know who he was. God, what? No. <laughs> is this like just from like some boyfriend or something? Yeah, no idea. Is this like. No idea. <laughs> This looks like I every kid that I went to high school. Yeah, just like their Instagram feed. Fade in a perfect. I yeah. still don't know who that is. Me either. Yeah, I don't know. But hey, shout out to Aiden. He's a what? Famous TikToker, but not that famous. <laughs> Obviously, Aiden saw this as a disrespect and tried to roast him back before learning he was a multi-millionaire and respectively deciding otherwise. However, he quickly changed his mind and continued to try and ratio him anyway. I'm literally not even a famous tick. That's not what I do, bro. Bro, like, here's my thing. If you don't know who I am, what, well, hold on, what does he say after this? Uh, hey, shout out to Aiden. He's a what? Famous TikToker, but not that famous. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I all right, guys, I can't say shit. I literally can't say shit. Yep, never mind, he got it. <laughs> respectfully, respectfully. Of course, he was trying to money shame and be like, oh, I got more money than you, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm rich than you. And now he can't say that. So watch him go to the age shaming after this because he couldn't do the money shaming. So that's just, those are his top two. <laughs> Is you old and washed up and I, I got more money than you. Those are his top two insults. Respectfully, I will take my L, bro. All right. Score but things didn't end on a low note, though, since the people from the podcast quickly contacted Aiden and invited him to appear in an episode. More recently, he went off against an MSNBC reporter for trying to mock his Trump stream. After he reacted to the clip of her calling the whole Trump stream a huge joke, he began to clap back at her for telling her that she was too old to... What did I just say? <laughs> that is his go-to. But that... She's too old to what? understand how important the meeting was that makes zero fucking sense people who are older they would be more knowledgeable about the policies and politics and shit like that so you you too old to understand how this works that don't make no sense when we're talking about politics but yeah it goes back to what uh what's his name ninja was talking about <laughs> just the same sentiment that i feel like most people had and he's like, oh, people were just being positive and nice to me. You're fans. 
who are 10, I'm sure a lot of them were being nice and supportive, but the, the everyday average adults was like, what? <laughs> what? What is happening? So she had the same idea that, oh, this is stupid. This is goofy. And just saying how the whole network was just jealous about him being able to get close and personal with Trump. He gotta, come, he gotta come with some more intelligent comebacks, cause you're 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 jealous. You a hater. You too old and you broke. These these are not intelligent comebacks at all. You can't use them for everybody. He actually live streamed with a guy today, Nicole, from Mar-a-Lago, who's one of his shticks online is that after a guest gets up from the chair that he's been interviewing, he goes over and sniffs their... Listen, listen, you 60-year-old, you're... I don't think... Do you even get periods anymore? This is you're disgusting 65? because it's like, yo, this could be your granny. This could be... This is somebody's granny. So you're now just being disgusting. year old Karen, you don't... Bleed from your vagina anymore. Worry about your Ew, not me. God damn, bro. You know, he's who uh, won the campaign? But like, holy yeah. shit. It was an amazing idea. Broke the internet, bro. More than all you little, all your press, bro. Your news station. It's at. Nobody watched that shit anymore, bro. Respectfully, nobody watched that shit anymore. They're mad because I, I got a Trump on my platform. Yes, you should be happy about that. News stations couldn't do it out. I mean, be be excited that you got that opportunity and revel in that. Why are you focused on the negativity and what people have to say about it who don't like it? Fuck them. Everybody going to have their they opinions about shit. You don't have to respond to all of them and be so pressed and insecure about your meeting with him. It sounds like he's not, you know, confident in how he came across. Maybe he does feel like it's a little goofy. Maybe something inside him feels that way because why are you getting this worked up? I like 60 years... 60 years, you gonna get him? I got him in like one year. Now back to Aiden confronting other streamers for acting wrong. And there isn't anyone better at saying the weirdest things only to get a bit of attention than John Zerka. During one of his streams, Aiden hopped in a call with Sneeko and Zerka just to hang out and chat for a while. After Zerka joined the call, Aiden called him a PDF. Instead of getting oh, yes, mad or say it was too. a lie, Zerka just went all in by saying that he had been with a 16-year-old girl, but that it was fine because he did it in a state where it was legal. So Aiden had to call him out for it, calling him weird before changing the subject. Had a, I was actually coming in here uh, because Sneeko said he wanted to talk to you. So I was waiting on... Um, you said, you, did you call me a pedophile? Yes. Yeah, Sneeko told me you're a pedophile. Yeah, I, I didn't know you knew, like... Because Snake was just talking shit. Wait, you yeah, actually. I am. Uh, 16 year old girl. I mean, it's a little bit weird, don't you think? No, it, it's weird, but they're so hot, dude. I went to a state where it's legal and I just. Won. Yeah, nah, come on, bro. Now, it's obvious that he was just trolling to get some reactions, no, but he... it's definitely not something you should be joking about. Nobody in their right mind troll about that troll and i wrote to a whole video talking about that situation and nah that ain't all the troll check it out if y'all miss it i forgot what it's called i don't know that nigga name <laughs> and definitely the streamer who has shown the most called. amount of hate towards aiden for his trump stream has been hassan abi one of the things he tried pressing aiden with was how it was illegal for him to give trump the rolex for the camera that's, that's very great. no Wait, wait, no, you can't do that. That's illegal. You like Rolex? That's illegal. That's illegal. You can't do that, dog. The golf guys and all the other. That's illegal. Flag on the play. What's the law? That literally is not legal. You cannot give gifts to a president who's running for president that is over. Nobody? What's the actual law? I didn't know. Bro, 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 you can't do that. I said, uh, oh, that's such a big show. I don't know what you're doing, but... <laughs> As a result of that, Aiden had to take the watch back and give it to Trump's son. Since even though his son was being really petty, he was right about it being illegal. I swear to God, Hassan, Abby, you have actual issues. All right, you got some real issues. So, chat, I have to just clarify. I have to take that Rolex back. There's a presidential Rolex that I gave uh, President Trump. I have to take it back. And I'm gonna, I'm just going to give it to uh, uh, Baron Trump, all right? From there, Ada just had to go off at Hassan, oh telling God. him how with being deep into... Because I, I understand why, you know, someone who's running can't give gifts to other people because it's like, oh, you're trying to, you know, 
uh, bribe them, or not bribe them, but you're trying to encourage them to vote for you. But I don't understand why they can't receive gifts from people. But yeah, apparently there, there's a law. I wish they would have went over it though. Politics for over 15 years, he hasn't been able to have the same impact as himself with the Trump stream. Y'all are mad. I saw you've been in politics for 15 years. You can't get a president stream. You can't get a stream from a candidate. You can't. You know why? Because nobody likes you. Chat, I'm just speaking facts. I don't even do politics and I got a stream with the president. Ha! Huh. He's mad. And speaking of entitled celebrities getting humbled, one time Kai went off against a news outlet for... Oh, he's talking about a different video now. Um, but yeah, he humbled a lot of celebrities, it appears. I was not aware of most of these. I mean, I did see a few of them. I did videos on them, so that's why I skipped those segments because we've already talked about them in great detail. Uh, but yeah, he's had a lot of run-ins with, with celebrities, it looks like. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!